हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू आवर बायोलॉजी क्लास मैं सर डॉक्टर राघवेंद्र हियर फाइन इन द लास्ट क्लास जस्ट वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टिपिकल एग्जांपल्स ऑफ क्लास रेप्टिलिया वन एग्जांपल आई हैव मेंशन हियर दैट इज स्पेनाडॉन इज आल्सो नोन एज अ लिविंग फॉसिल व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज लिविंग फॉसिल बिकॉज़ इट एग्जिबिट्स सर्टेन प्रिमिटिव काइंड ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स दैट हैव बीन ऑब्जर्वड इन द सर्टेन the what you can say the extinct uh, uh, mainly reptiles like dinosaurs and spinodon is mainly seen in case of the new zealand in the new zealand we can find them and uh, it body is totally covered with lots of scales and then uh, it has the what you can say the teeth which are homodon all the teeth are same only there is no heterodont condition because we have uh, the teeth called as mainly the incisor canine premolar molar we have but this kind of uh, teeth differentiation not seen in case of these spinodon and definitely they do have the they are tetrapods of four legs with pentadactyle clawed digits they have the claws in their digits and then tympanum represents mainly the external ear in this animal and then entire body covered with the cornified scales scale and the skin doesn't have any kind of a, a gland so this is about the spinodon one most important and peculiar character they have the third eye actually it is not a highly active eye it is a photosensitive structure a modification of pineal gland we say that is called as third eye now looking into one more important example what is called the naja naja or king cobra we say so the king cobra definitely yes they do have most important significant features mainly in their buccal cavity at the roof they have an organ called jacobson's organ this organ is a mainly olfactory receptor or chemoreceptor or even thermoreceptor also and then they have the v shaped spectacle mark that indicate they are most dangerous and poisonous and whenever the animal is disturbed as yes, for its own defense it will make a hissing sound bus bus we call it as a hissing sound they do and at the time yes they need to expand their lungs so here lungs are located and this is called as the hood and then they don't have any tympanum they are, they don't have any organ they just follow the vibrations of the temperature chemo sensation and then yes their eyes also again covered with the nictitating membrane what we can find body entirely covered with the scales only and these animals keep growing but skin is not that much flexible what happens the skin they need to remove out or shed off their skin we call it as a casting when they remove their old skin we call it the casting in case of arthropods mainly the insects we call it the molting and yes they mainly go to the around the bushes or to the rough surface of the tree bark they just keep on rubbing their skin old skin to the rough surface and easily they come out from the old skin leaving that old skin there itself so this is called as a shedding of their old skin or slogging out of the old skin we call the casting of the old skin as such body is very slender long enough and then both of these belong to the same order squamata one is having the limbs other one is not having the limbs it is adaptation we can say why because the limbs may decrease its speed of a movement so it has a remote its limbs only and then we can find the snakes as such in the water also in the water the snake tail is a dorso isobilaterally flat fin like it keep making the wavy movement and then that also yes for the locomotion and moreover these are the carnivores so first they bite their prey and make it paralyze kill it and then eat it the poison in case of the cobra yes it is a most dangerous neurotoxin and once the neurotoxin enter into the blood they start breaking all our rbcs then hemolysis we call it as when hemolysis happens there is no more chance of transportation of oxygen and then brain will die very soon person will die so the same thing these mainly animals once they bite their victim or the prey the animal will die and they eat it in fact the poison when it is swallowed when it is digested it is a protein but when it get into the blood that is more dangerous it become a neurotoxin well so this is all about yes what we have discussed regarding these two animals let us go ahead with some more important examples yes the next example we are going to discuss 
he is about the most important and it is well known for changing its body color according to the surrounding hope you are now understanding what i'm going to discuss is all about the animal called as a chameleon so chameleon is also called as a tree lizard right so we are going to discuss about the tree lizard the chameleon so what are the important features of the chameleon because all these animal characters i am going to discuss important features we are going to discuss with this you are going to remember the distinct characters also fine so chameleon is also called as a tree lizard tree lizard so in the tree lizard yes they do have the cone shape head as such cone shape head and then yes the, the head is having the hood also we can say that and then the animal is having the body and here we can find mainly so the animal yes having the four limb as well as the animal is having the hind limb and then yes the animal is having mainly the tail which is we call it as mainly the tail is a prehensile means it is able to coil around any twig so that it cannot fall down so it can coil around the twig so that imagine yes this is the twig what i am drawing and then yes a branch goes over here it falls around the branch and it cannot fall down so easily so here what we find they have the eye and the eye is mainly elevated on the cone they have the nostril they have the long again protrusible tongue so as to catch the prey and then yes they do have what we can say that the digits okay so digits are syndactylous so two digits from single branch digits we can say that syndactylous digits and yes they do have syndactylous digits branched digits and the body is yes it is surrounded by lots of these scales forming a crest around the body okay they have the good number of body scales that make the animal not much attractive and then yes we can find lots of body scales so here what you are finding the digits are branched syndactylous syndactylous or fused we can say that fused digits the digits are having again a claws also yes we can say they have the claws and yes so the four limb we can say it is a four limb and this is a hind limb hind limb and then yes the eye elevated on the cone eye on the cone then these are as such we can say that the scale so it is a crest then it is a hood okay yes they have the nostril for respiration nostril right and this is what we say protrusible protrusible tongue the animal is capable of changing its body color so this is the tail coiling so we call it as a prehensile tail prehensile tail yes it uses its prehensile tail to coil around the twig so that it cannot fall down and then animal 
exhibit camouflage camouflage by changing its body color by changing changing its body color because it changes its body color as such it has a chromatophores the color pigments yes they have chromatophores chromatophores or we call them the pigmented cells so this is what we talk about the peculiarity of uh, chameleon it has a protrusible tongue it has a prehensile tail it has a hood it has a crest eyes are elevated on the cone so that each eye can be rotated more than 180 degrees centigrade and then syndactylus or fused digits we can find so these are special or specific feature of chameleon as such what you are observing here so chameleons are mainly the color changing lizards and they are also called the tree lizards so easily they escape from the predator as and when we keep moving either on the green flower green leaves is moving it will be color will be green when it is on the uh, tree branches then the body color will become a brown like that uh, they change their whatever the body color and escape from the predators now let us understand the peculiarity of a crocodile crocodile characters what are the important features of crocodile let us understand so crocodile as such the large size any mainly the lizards okay they are the large size lizards we can say that among all these reptiles yes crocodiles are large size they do have the nostrils and then yes what we can find they do have the mainly the eye yes crocodile eye having a longitudinal slit what you see okay so crocodile eye has a longitudinal slit well they do have yes one more important point i forgot to mention tympanum external ear tympanum tympanum for auditory mechanism here also crocodiles have the tympanum and then yes that is the eye and then the body is like this large size crocodile massive tail what they have yes so crocodiles as such they are strong lizards what we know them they are the strong and the crocodile bite will lead to the death only so there what we can say that the mouth when it open up yes what you find whenever it open its mouth yes you will find the mouth is with the dagger like teeth so the teeth are so strong so they can catch 1000 kg zebra also you might have been seen the national geography and other channels so you will see how the crocodiles will hunt so here what we find there are some more important characters i'm going to explain you about the crocodile and here the crocodile as such these are also pentadactyles by nature okay so here four digits i have mentioned they are actually pentadactyles so when you talk about crocodile yes being a lizard yes it exhibit four chambered heart generally lizards are three chambered heart but this has a four chambered heart and then no lizard will have that the membranous diaphragm but these animals have the diaphragm also these are having the claws and then yes on the body you will find lots of these what we can say there mainly the armored body yes so what you are finding here 
the body is having yes these shield like structures these are the scales what we see so these animals exhibit the presence of the scales and then yes what we find them these scales are armored structures and then yes so in fact their lower surface is soft but their upper surface is very hard we can say that this is the belly so here they exhibit the nostrils and then yes the homo uh, they are actually the thigodont thigodont teeth means the teeth are well fixed in the socket of the jaws and then they do have what we can say tympanum tympanum and then yes we find these armored okay these hard scales we call them as scutes the scales or the scutes the scales or the scutes we say and then we can say that uh, pentadactyl pentadactylus limbs with claws yes they do have a massive tail massive tail yes the eye with the eyelid we can say eyes nostrils thicker on teeth claws tympanum okay so the scales of the scoot and massive tail yes so this is what we say the abdomen abdomen so to say lots of important features are there related with the crocodile so crocodiles are well known predators in the water they are seen in the river they are seen in the lake they may be found in the pond also and it depends on the availability of the food so crocodiles the number of important features we can say that they have four chambered heart four chambered heart so another character yes they have the scutes and then they have the diaphragm membranous diaphragm membranous diaphragm okay so and they do have the nostrils even though they are aquatic they stay more of the time in the water but lung respiration is important for them so they respire through the nostrils and lungs entire body is covered with the very hard scales or armors we can say exoskeleton with the hard armors and they are called as the scales or the scutes yes c u t e s scutes we call them and then there is a abdomen yes the head trunk tail no neck region here and mainly they have the uh, four limbs so four limbs and hind limbs which are pentadactyl or five digits ending with the claws so a very massive tail it has been seen that the animal sometimes yes stores lots of fat mainly in the tail only for its survival or as a reserve nutrient and the teeth are well fixed in the sockets of the jaws so they are the thigodont teeth so these are a few important what we can say mainly the predators of the water and we call them as mainly crocodiles and crocodiles exhibit lots of important features of what we can say like that of the primitive character of the dinosaurs so sometime it has been mentioned in number of books that the crocodiles are the representative of the present day yes they are the representative of the old dinosaurs because it exhibit lots of important features like that of the dinosaurs and then they do have nictitating membrane also and they are well known what we can say the predaceous animals so this is about what we have discussed regarding the chameleon as well as the crocodile let us understand now the basic difference between 
the turtle as well as the tortoise yes once we are done with that then we can go ahead with the general characteristic of uh, this uh, animal group uh, reptilia well so we need to understand the basic difference between turtle as well as the tortoise so many times uh, you might have been heard about uh, these uh, two groups uh, what is the turtle what is the tortoise uh, you may not be having the exact idea about the differences between these two animals let us discuss that also fine so turtle turtle are basically marine tortoises are basically terrestrial well let us understand the differences also now so when we talk about the most important the turtle and tortoise belongs to which order of the reptilia turtle and tortoise belongs to chelonia fine so let me just mention first uh, the example turtle turtle is actually is a marine form marine form and yes they do have lots of peculiar characters so when you see a turtle generally the turtle has its uh, carapace or its uh, shield we call it as the uh, yes it's a body protective which is a heart shaped structure heart shaped structure and then yes its neck comes out like this and then here is mainly the turtle upper jaw look like a beak of a bird so the upper jaw is modified like a beak of a bird and then the lower jaw and then yes It continues like this. The beak-like sharp structure is essential so as to tear its predators, its prey. And as such, they are mainly the aquatic form. Yes, they are the aquatic forms. What we find, and then, so here they have mainly the heart-shaped carapace or. we call it as the leathery shell we this is the leathery shell and then here what you are finding mainly their limbs the four limbs as well as the hind limbs are modified like a flipper yes they are modified like a flipper so that easily they can swim or they can paddle the water so they are modified flipper like they have a short tail also and the shell mainly the leathery shell has a peculiar pattern so we can find hexagonal structures so we can find hexagonal structures and these hexagonal structures are the pattern of particular kind of a species also we can say and then yes here we find these mainly the animals with the peculiar pattern body pattern fine so that this is a leathery shell it is not a hard enough like that of the tortoise shell so this leathery mainly gives better protection, uh, protection as well as it provides mainly what can be slippery nature and yes so this is what we say mainly it's uh, the carapace carapace or leathery shell leathery shell the shell is hard shape okay and flat hard shape and flat and then the lower part we call a soft tissue plastron plastron and then what we find here 1 2 3 and 4 as well as 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here 1 2 3 4 and 5 digits 2 3 4 5 as well as digits yes so we can say that 
pentadactylus dactylus flipper like flipper or paddle paddle like limb so all the limbs are paddle like that helps in a better locomotion or movement upper jaw upper jaw beak like so they are exclusively marine yes they are found in the water this is what we say mainly the structure of the mainly turtle so now to know the body structure of tortoise so tortoise or terrestrial form terrestrial form what are the body structure of the tortoise so tortoise you might have been seen the picture on the mosquito repellent tortoise so the picture will be like this so tortoise having it's a dome shape shell and then yes mainly it's a leg so here what we find mainly the legs like this small tail and then they do have the eye tympanum homodont teeth no beak modification and then yes we can say that they do have mainly the structure the shell is hard enough hard shell what we can find yes so here we are finding the shell mainly hard enough so they are mainly the yes they are mainly the terrestrial form dome shape you can say that yes mainly protrusible protrusible or retrievable neck and limbs yes 1 2 3 4 5 so these are pentadactylus pentadactylus mainly homodont and then the eye yes mainly we can say that dome shape hard shell they have so these are mainly herbivores by nature these are carnivores carnivores by nature hope you are understanding mainly the you are able to see the difference so let me tell you mainly tortoises are the terrestrial they have the dome shaped shell and the shell is hard enough mainly they are found in the well or they are found in the pond yes they are found mainly we can say that in the gardens also where the moisture is excess and they mainly feed on the grass and then yes they have the homodont and then they have the flat legs with the digits we can say that and they have retrievable or protrusible mainly neck as well as the uh, limbs whenever any predator comes yes they will take up they take their uh, legs as well as the neck back inside the shell and then they hide very well so this the hard dome shape shell gives them better protection so this is about what we can say mainly the tortoise where is the turtle marine flat dome shape leathery shell hard shell carnivore herbivore okay so here we can say paddle like legs flat legs and then it swims it lift and it walks so these are the few basic differences between turtle as well as a tortoise and that we have discussed about the 
better differences between the marine turtle and terrestrial tortoise fine in the next class yes we are going to study about in detail regarding the general characters as well as the special characters of this group what we call the class reptilia till then take care study well thank you very much